Now, data is being generated at a tremendous pace. Now, what we are talking about is not the transaction data, uh, withdrawing money from ATM, making telephone calls, searching the web. But the data is people are tweeting. They are putting messages on the Facebook, sharing pictures, videos. Uh, doctors are transcribing. So all is this is text data, visual, uh, audio, video data, right? And that is being generated at a tremendous pace. Now the traditional database architects don't have the luxury to sit in a room for months and maybe a year and design a database. That's not an option. The good news is that there are solutions in the market, the NoSQL solutions, which cater to this kind of challenging scenarios. Now you might be worried that what are those solutions and how do they work and what are the details. So that's why this module, that's why this course, that's why you are here and that's why I am here. So let's look at the module coverage for this module. So we will start with the, with the, the concept of the Google Big Data Paper and then we will talk of the NoSQL meetups which predates the big data paper and then the Amazon Dynamo paper which are kind of a milestones and they set the standards and then we will talk about the second NoSQL meetup and what NoSQL meet means today. So let's look at it in more detail. So Google big data paper, so what this paper is about. This paper was published in 2006 and what it says, Bigtable is a distributed storage system for managing structured data that is designed to scale very large size. Okay, petabytes of data across thousands of commodity servers. So if we have this petabyte of data and we have this thousands of commodity servers and this is all is distributed. Similar to an RDBMS model at first sight, big table stores rows with a single key and stores data in the rows within related column families. Therefore, accessing all related data is as easy as retrieving a record by using an ID rather than a complex join without a join. So what do we get? We get speed without a join. This model also means that distributing data is more straightforward than with relational databases. By using simple keys, related data such as all pages on the same website, okay, as given in the Google example. Similarly, Bigtable is designed to be able to be distributed on commodity servers. Commodity servers, big data table can be distributed on commodity servers. A common theme for NoSQL databases. For example, Dell or HP servers with perhaps two CPUs, eight to 10 or 16 cores and 32 to 96 GB of RAM, nothing fancy just lots of them commodity servers lots of them okay of course with the passage of time these requirements might change but you get the picture carlos strozzi is the person who gave the name nosql okay and this is the first documented use of the term nosql in 1998 he was visiting san francisco and wanted to get people together to talk about his lightweight relational database Carlos meeting in San Francisco came and went. Developers continued to experiment with alternate query mechanisms. So this is no SQL is not only SQL. So the data is retrieved using Unix scripting instead of SQL. SQL is for the RDBMS. RDBMS. Okay. There is a cost using SQL. Complex queries are hard to debug and it's even harder to make them perform well, which increases the cost of development, administration and testing. So this is the reason for the popularity of NoSQL. Okay, now let's move ahead to the Amazon Dynamo paper. So what does the Amazon Dynamo paper states? The stress is on consistency, cost effectiveness and performance. And of course, availability is there. It was published in 2007. And the paper goes on to describe how a lot of Amazon data is stored by the use of primary key, how consistent hashing is used to partition and distribute the data. Hashing and then partitioning the data. Why? Because then you make it distributed. And this is probably the first globally distributed key value store which was there, which was introduced. So that is the strength of the Amazon Dynamo paper. 
So the second no sequel meetup. Okay. Now that was held in 2009. Now people were developing solutions whenever they had a challenge, and there were a lot of products in the market: MongoDB, Redis, Cassandra, and the list goes on. And then the hashtag no sequel was used for the first time about open source, about distributed computing, and about non-relational. And of course, as you can see on the slide, there were uh, people. Uh, from many uh, influential companies, many leading players of the market who were there, which goes on to show the popularity, the acceptance, the application, and the desirability of the NoSQL solution. So, what uh, NoSQL means today? Uh, NoSQL is applied in those areas which are weak, which are complex, which are complicated, which are hard to develop and maintain for the RDBMS, Relational Database Management System, and there are different solutions, and as many problems are there, as many solutions are there, and all of them are uh, NoSQL databases. But you have to be aware of their limitations, their strengths, and how they will go together, and which solutions you should choose from, from all of this variety, which solutions are going to help you. And you should be aware of the total cost of ownership, TCO. So that's all I have for this module. Thank you for your time.